hello welcome back in this video i want to show you one very important thing and that is uh, setting the test speed uh, to do it uh, test cafe gives us one pretty cool function uh, which is named set test speed and there you can specify the number between 0.01 and 1 where the 1 is the fastest and 0.01 is the slowest and you can use it to manipulate the speed of the all test cafe commands and this is very useful for example when you need to debug something and uh, as you can see the tests are running very fast and basically you can't just see nothing with your human eyes and for this speci special cases we have the set test speed function so let me just quickly show you the brief example imagine i want to slow down this my first test so all i need to do is i need to call await t dot and i need to set test speed and as you can see it prompt me with the hint and it says it specified the test speed and it must be a number between 1 and 0 0.01 so if i leave it like one and I run the tests it will uh, oops npm run test chrome it will run the tests with its default settings default speed and actually try to look at the test and see what's going on actually it's pretty fast and basically it's basically impossible to see what's happening there but for these cases i can set the speed and let me see 0 0.01 and if i run the tests again the test will run much slower and i will be able to observe actually what's going on under the, the in, in, inside the test So you see, it's slowly typing, navigating to submit, pressing enter and test passed. And if we scroll a little bit up, you see that the normal speed took three seconds and the slowdown took eight seconds. So it's very important in your production tests to always use speed one and do not use uh, or do not manipulate the speed inside the tests in production runs. Do it only for debug purposes only. And you might ask what's going to happen if I type, for example, 10, which is out of the range. Well, let's look. We simply run the test. And it will fail. And if you look up, it will basically save the speed is expected to be number between 0 0.01 and 1 but 10 was passed so it will basically show you that you shouldn't do it so you are basically you are covered but i just realized what if you have like 10 or 20 tests and for the debug purposes you would like to reduce the speed for example to as shown previously 0 0.1 you would need to go and inside all of those 20 files you would need to manually type it which is not very smart idea because you will need to remove it or if you want to change it you will need to do it 20 times again so again not a good idea and here comes the hooks into play because i can actually copy copy it out and I can paste it into before each hook and now it will basically set the speed to 0 0.01 for each of the tests inside this whole test file so in the situations when I'm having let's say 20 files I can just paste it here and you're good to go it will automatically slow down all the tests to this function so if we now try to run it
you see the test is basically slowed down as before. And then it passed. And unfortunately in this situation I have only one test, but later we will have multiple tests inside one test file. So and in that case it will be basically affecting all of them. But we can actually leave it here, but set it to one. And yeah, that's pretty much a good usage of before hooks. Uh, for, so remember, when you want to set speed and you have multiple tests, well, use the before each hook and you are good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There is not much more to talk about test speed. I hope everything is straightforward. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section and see you in the next video.